Hi and welcome back. Today we'll learn how can we install Waza on our Ubuntu operating system. Uh, now, as you know that uh, um, if we are related to cybersecurity, there is a lot of focus on Waza. Now, Waza is an open source security platform that provides comprehensive security monitoring and compliance. It is designed to help organizations to detect intrusion, monitoring system integrity, and ensure the compliance in the various security policies and standards. Um, I'll try to keep it as much simple as possible. Um, it's used for different things, even for extended uh, defense and response, or as we say, extended detection and response and uh, uh, same systems. Um, now we'll have to follow the instructions which are here with the assisted installation. Um, they are fine, but sometimes you'll end up having some issues. So I'll try to explain it in a way which is a bit easy for you. As you can see, I'm on my virtual machine and I'm using Ubuntu 24.04, which is the latest version of Ubuntu. Now, first thing, we'll install our PowerShell and make sure that you are logged in as a super user. Now, I'm sure you might have upgraded the um, operating system in case um, if there are any pending updates, make sure that you have installed it already. So the first thing that we need to do is that we'll have to install um, apt install curl, which is required for the installation. It won't take much time. Um, just make sure that it's there. Once that's done, the second thing that we'll be doing today is that we'll have to make sure that we have the latest uh, um, JDK, which is the uh, Java version available on this box. Once that's done, now we'll try to install the Java. So I'll type in sudo apt install default jdk and uh, minus y. Now give it some time, uh, let it install and then we'll start the installation of Waza. Now as you can see it's completed so let's clear the screen. Now we'll go back to Waza website and we'll have to copy the first URL which is mentioned over here. So once that's done we would paste it over here and press enter. So it would copy the package. Um, the next thing is a bit tricky like they're saying that you can copy this bash command and run it over there. Trust me if you'll install the same one you'll end up having some issues on your system. So instead of pasting this one, what I'm going to do with that is that I'd paste it, but I'll remove this part and here I'll type in minus A and press enter. Now that's the default way of doing it, but the instructions which are there on the website, um, you'll end up having some issues and then you'll have to restart the installation. So in order to save time, um, you can do it. Um, it would take around about 30 minutes in order to install it. Once it's done, we are going to continue from there. As you can see, it has been successfully installed. There are a couple of things that you'll have to keep a note of it. First of all, um, you'll have to save this path because uh, sometimes it happens that if you need to make some changes, you'll have to know that where is your backup folder. The other thing is that note down the IP address and the port. Um, it's HTTPS and the IP address is the IP address of this server on which we are installing it. And the third and the most important thing is this password which you would copy and save it somewhere so that um, you can comfortably log in whenever you want to log into the system. Now once that's done we'll have to try to log into the system. For that we'll open our browser on the same server and we'll type in the IP address of this server which is 192.168.176.135 and press enter. I think I'll have to press HTTPS and then type in 192.168.176.135 and as you can see press advanced and accept and continue. Now once that's done we'll try to log into the system for the first time and we'll log in with the username as admin and the password um, that was displayed on the screen. Now it would take some time to load the API of it and then you'll be able to see the first interface of your Waza server. 
Now, as you can see, it's loaded and um, uh, since it's a same system and uh, it is capable of monitoring lots of things, configuration assessment, malware detection, file and integrity monitoring, MITRE, um, even GDPR, <coughs> NIST, HIPAA, and PCI DSS. Um, further, if you'll go to the menu, you'll find lots of other options which it is capable of, that it would pull the logs of all the agents from the network and it would show you over here. But um, since you don't have an agent added, you won't be able to see the logs for that. I'll show you so shortly how can we add the agents to this one. Now, since as you know that the password was quite lengthy and it's difficult to uh, remember it, so if you'll try to change the password over here, it would give you an error. For example, if I would try to enter a password over here, and if I'll enter it, and if I'll try to reset it, it's giving me an error message. That's what happens if you'll try to change the password from here. So in order to uh, change the password, what we can do is that we can clear the screen and uh, we'll have to go to a path um, to uh, copy the, uh, to go to the directory from where we will actually change the password. So, uh, so we'll change the path of it to CD uh, war and O sec and then bin now it's typed in twice so we'll remove cd from here press enter we are in the directory next thing is we'll have to type in a curl command and i'll copy and paste it over here you can copy the same command and we'll check ls as you can see it has been copied on your computer um, the next thing is that we'll pass a bash command with a password that we would like to change like uh, I typed in minus u admin and the password that I would like to change and press enter. So it would take a while and it would change the password. As you can see, the password has been successfully changed. So what we can do now is that we can try to log into the system and check that uh, if we can log in with the new password. And if we'll log out from the system and log out, and try to enter the new password and log in. Yep, we can log in. Now that was um, about changing the password. Now we'll have to add the agents to our Rosa. Now, as you know that since we have not added any agents to the system, we'll not be able to collect any logs uh, from Rosa. Now, in order to add the agent, we'll click on add agent and then we'll select the operating system for which we would like to install the agent. Now you have different options like if you have Linux based systems or Windows based system or Mac OS, you are going to select it accordingly since I'm going to install it on Windows Server, I'm going to select MSI. Um, if you're installing it for Linux, you'll have to select if you are going for Debian or RPM, so you'll select accordingly. Now here I'll enter the IP address of this server on which my WASA is running. So it's 192.168.176.135 and here since I'm installing it for server 2022, um, I'll enter the name, I'll keep the default settings and here is a script that we are going to run on our server 2022. Um, in order to install the agent. So we can copy it, but uh, sometimes it uh, gives you an error or it's not copied properly. So I'll copy it over here and uh, then I'll close this one and I'll try to keep a copy of whatever I have copied somewhere else as well. Once that's done, I'm gonna go to my server. Um, you can open the PowerShell on your server 2022 and um, then you can paste the script that you copied from your Waza server and press enter. Now it would take some time and it would install Waza on your server 2022. Now as you can see it has been installed and if we we'll go to programs and features we should be able to see Waza agent which is listed up here. Now we'll have to check on our 
uh, was a server it won't report here because um, of the reason that once you will install an agent um, you'll have to restart the server or restart the service um, before it would report it over here so in order to do that what we can do is that uh, since we don't want to restart the server we'll go to the services of the server and we will look, look for Waza and here you can see it's listed but it's not started as yet so we'll start the service and then we'll give it some time so that um, our Waza server can see uh, Windows Server 2022 on the network and it can collect the um, data or the logs from that server to our Waza server. Now as you can see it has detected the server and it is showing that there is one active server on the network and uh, it would take some time before it can collect some data from the server related to different activities and things. So if we want to see the details of different logs which are collected for this server, um, you can find it over here. Um, defense evasion, initial access and rest of the other things. Um, and of course you can go to the other details and get the details about our server which is server 2022. So that's how we actually set up um, it was a server on Ubuntu. I hope things are clear. That's it for today. Thank you very much.